Some time ago, I was asked to build a portable hand warmer for the cold temperatures during winter. And I thought, hmm? Because creating heat from electricity is not complicated at all. It's super simple. Just put a resistor on a voltage source and there you go. Heat. But it requires a lot of power to generate sufficient heat, which makes things complicated. For example, the heated bed of my 3D printer draws around 6.3 amps at 12 volts, which equals 75.3 watts, which is 3 quarters of the power my TV needs to function. That's a lot. But I came up with a small, safe and less power hungry design that you can build at home. Let's get started. First of all, I got myself this old PC a friend of mine had laying around. I opened the case and I think now it is pretty easy to spot the biggest heat producer in this case. Maybe it hides underneath this big heatsink with a fan. And yes, you guessed it, I'm talking about the CPU. I removed it from its socket prison and after I wiped off the thermal paste, you can clearly see the small and smooth metal surface, which is perfect to evenly distribute the heat. This one is an old AMD processor from 2001, so I don't feel too bad about repurposing it. But you can always get yourself an even older one, like this Pentium 3 processor, which would have also worked fine. Now, how to heat things up? I used my variable bench power supply and set it to 5 volts, which is a commonly available voltage value. I used my power wires to search for two pins on the CPU, which would give me a current draw of under 500 milliamps. This way it would also work with USB 2.0, which can supply a maximum of 500 milliamps. It took quite a while and I got several different current draws during the process. But finally I found a matching pair with a current draw of above 400 milliamps. I marked both pins and soldered a wire to each one. Then I hooked them up again, just to make sure that it still works. I used this thermal probe which consists of a DS18B20 temperature sensor to measure the temperature rise of the heated surface. And with the help of Kapton tape, I secured it snugly to the surface. And I also connected the one data wire with a pull-up resistor to an Arduino Nano to receive the temperature data. Ok, time for the first test. I powered the CPU and used a small sketch for the Arduino to output the temperature over the serial monitor. And yes, it works! But it's taking so long! I waited around 10 minutes to reach 44 degrees Celsius. And when I put my hand on the heated surface, the temperature breaks down really fast and takes a long time to recover. So under 500 milliamps and USB 2.0 is not realizable. Let's find another 5 volt power source with a better current capability. And there's a really popular one. I'm talking about those 5 volt power banks to charge your phone. This one is small, looks great and can safely deliver 1 amp without a problem. So I searched for two other pins and found some which draw around 770 milliamps and that really improved the heat up time. I reached 44 degrees Celsius in under 4 minutes and even when I put my hand on the surface, it stays really warm. Ok, it is time to finish this prototype. I used my soldering iron to remove all the pins of the CPU. I just put a bit of solder on the top and went through the lines with a bit of force. Those pins will stuck to the tip of the iron and can easily be removed. But make sure at the end that there are no solar bridges between two points. When I was done with that, I marked my two important pins and got myself an old USB cable. I cut off the old plug and exposed the four wires inside. Now I connected my power source and measured the voltage on those four wires. And apparently the red and black wire carry our 5 volt power. So we can cut off the unnecessary cables and the shielding. Almost done. I soldered the red and black wire to the pins of the CPU and used a lot of hot glue to secure the cable and to prevent the pins from ever shorting each other. And it is done. A compact, lightweight electric hand warmer. When we do the math and include the efficiency of the power bank circuit, we can also estimate that this gadget will work for around 2.5 hours before completely draining the battery. 
And I also had the idea to use this thing to keep my tea or other beverages warm. But the tests clearly were a big fail, because 3.8 watts is definitely not enough power to heat up liquids. But it's a great hand warmer anyway. Thanks for watching this small project. If you liked it, then give this video a like, obviously, maybe also share this video and subscribe to my channel for more great projects. Stay creative and I will see you next time!